Yo, what's up guys? How are you on today, man? Coming to us some more NBA because of today. We got an absolute bomb from Wolves. This is a three-team deal. Let's just get right into it, okay? So according to Wolves, the Lakers are finalizing a deal to acquire Minnesota D'Angelo Russell, former player for the Lakers, obviously. Malik Beasley, superb shooter. Jared Vanderbilt, ex exceptional defender. Proving on a sweep on shot, extremely athletic, and an, an absolute superb rebounder as well. Um, and Mike Conley and picks are going to the Timberwolves, and Russell Westbrook is end up getting traded with a lightly 2027 protected first round pick to the Utah Jazz. So, again, that is D Lo going back to the Lakers, Malik Beasley, superb shooter, going to the Lakers, Jared Vanderbilt going to the Lakers as well. And then you have the Jazz and um, Lakers basically flipping Conley and Russell. I mean, I'm pretty sure I heard that if Westbrook. And they're traded, which he obviously did right now, that he would end up getting waived and maybe another team will pick him up in free agency. Because as we know, he's making $47 million. That's a lot of money for a guy right now that's just a six man. And it really, I don't know. Do I call Russell Westbrook inconsistent? I mean, we know what he's going to do. He's going to have these terms. He's going to have these wild shots. He's going to have this. He's going to have that. But at the end of the day, you do know that he's going to play hard. He will show up every single day. And I guess. That's what you have with Russell Westbrook. I mean, he's not the old Russell Westbrook that we saw years past. I mean, he's not, I won't say he's bad. Definitely not $47 million a year good when he was actually a superstar player. But still, I'll still, I'll still call him a good player, okay? I'll still call him a good player. I'm um, going to the Jazz now, probably end up getting waived. The uh, Jazz are now, I guess they just traded away. I don't know why y'all would trade away Malik Beasley and Jerry Vanderbilt both for a first from pick in 2027. That is apparently lately protected. I mean, I guess. I don't know. Um, some raw thoughts out here. Uh, Mike Conley to the Timberwolves. That's definitely taking a step back from the Angelo Russell and your... The Timberwolves. I mean... I don't know what the Timberwolves are doing. D-Lo was an expiring contract. Malik Beasley having a really good shooting season. Vanderbilt, really good defender. Finished three-point shot as well. I don't know how I feel about this trade. I'll definitely say the Lakers obviously won this deal. Get a starting point guard in the D-Log. Malik Beasley will probably be off the bench. And Jerry Vernabo, if you want to start him, if you want to play him off the bench, uh, I guess we'll find out. But definitely one of the most coveted free, not free, but one of the most coveted um, trade deadline targets because of his, against superb defense, really good rebounding, perfectly extremely much out, super athletic, just plays extremely hard. Saw him last in the Timberwolves, saw him years past in the Timberwolves. Um, yeah, he is a really good role player. Definitely helps that team, especially defensively, which they could definitely add on to that. And yeah, so that's the Lakers. In terms of the in terms of the Timberwolves, flipping basically D Lo and getting Mike Conley. Mike Conley is definitely a downgrade. Mike Conley makes so much money, okay? Mike Conley makes so much money. Just watching Mike Conley this season's play definitely hasn't been as good as it was in years past. Maybe it was an also last year or a couple years back. Uh, he was also a replacement. Um, he's definitely not as good as he was in his Grizzlies days. I mean, he's still a really good superb bat. I'm not gonna lie, Mike Conley, he might not be as good as he once was, but his passing is still really good. And maybe the uh, Wolves just didn't want to resign D'Lo and pay him all that money, even though now you're paying Mike Conley. You have Anthony Emerson, so I believe they should to build the team around. You have Cat. It's a good, should be a good number two option, in my opinion. Rudy Gobert, which I just don't know why they made that deal. Getting five for the first round picks just to have Cat at the four and Gobert at the five. Like, I don't get it. And now you're trading away one of your best defenders and Jared Vanderbilt. Like, Timberwolves, what are y'all doing? And then you have the Jazz. I mean, you end up trading away Mike Conley for a first round pick. So I guess that's a W. I mean, who's y'all starting point guard now? <laughs> literally like, i'm trying to think right now who is the jazz if they don't keep our source like obviously start him. who is their point guard now i'm trying to think colin sexton colin sexton back as a starting point guard i guess man i guess but at the end of the day i believe that the lakers won the trade they're obviously trying to retool that roster and get rid of russell westbrook obviously a lot of turmoil going on russell westbrook in terms of darvin ham and everything going on with that he was the sixth man was playing pretty good and then it was me you know last night he missed a couple layups he's just he just didn't fit that team at all man he just didn't fit that team at all and now lakers fans or Westbrook, it's over okay um but yeah lakers love this move for them 
I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about this for the Timberwolves. I mean, getting the aspiring contract of Dilo for a lightly protected first round pick, not even fully protected, not even like a for sure first round pick, a lightly protected first round pick, which obviously could be anything. But now the new look Lakers team probably gonna have like a Dilo at the one. Obviously, you have LeBron, you have AD, you probably still star, I would say, Rui Hashimura. And I don't know. Do they still start Schroeder now or move Schroeder to the bench? Pat Bev definitely should be a bench. He should have been a bench a while back. Now you have a kind of a they always had a guard log gym. Now you add two more guards, get rid of a guard, add two more guards and get an actual good wing. I mean, I really want to show the lineup doesn't look like if I were to guess, I probably would say what? Um has no Russell. I really don't know who they have at the two. Um I don't know if they would start Malik Beasley at the two. I mean, I don't know for shooting. I mean, they wanted a shooter for how long? They wanted Buddy Hill for how long? This definitely because a lot more than Buddy Hill would have. Um, I mean, this definitely costed a lot less than what Buddy Hill would have covered in the trade. I believe it would be a minimum of first round pick for one of the best shooters in basketball. So there's that, but uh, maybe believe maybe Malik Beasley at the two. I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff out right now. And obviously at the three of um, LeBron, and then you have Rich Murray at the four, and then AD at the five, and. Pretty solid bench as well with uh, Austin Reeves and um, Mash Chris, even though he's getting DMPs. He's a good shooter and he's actually a good defender as well. Um, and also, according to Woj, if anybody actually cared, also in the deal, JTA and Damian Jones and the Jazz didn't work any minutes at all for the Lakers, so that definitely makes sense. To kill Alexander Walker, aka Nog, going at the Timberwolves as well, part of that trade going from the Utah Jazz to the Timberwolves and then. Minnesota gets a 2024 lesser of Washington Memphis second round pick in 2025 2026 picks via Utah like the Utah Jazz. I mean, I won't say it's as bad as the Timberwolves, but the Timberwolves, man. I don't get it. I don't know. I Timberwolves. First I go bear trade. Y'all said D Lo, Malik Beasley, Jay Vando. Y'all out of here. For a first round pick. Y'all probably about to wave Russell Westbrook. You touch. I mean, not you touch. I'm getting, getting a little more confused. Tim Connolly and the Timberwolves. What are y'all doing, bro? Who's y'all point guard right now? Mike Conley. Oh. Mike Conley, Anthony Edwards, Rudy Gobert, and Carl Anthony Towns. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, that's very, very interesting. Okay, but how do you guys talk about this trade? Comment down below. Again, the Lakers win this deal. That team now, the depth, the starting lineup is a lot better than it did look yesterday. Losing a disgusting fashion, losing with LeBron dropping basically the most points in NBA history. Past Premier Blue Jabbar, over 38,000 points at 38 years old. The irony. And he lost that game to the Thunder. Moves had to be made. Rob Palenka is actually cooking. Got a nice deal, multiple second round picks, and a Kendrick Nunn, who has been pretty solid as well for the Wizards. For Rui Hachimura now starting, looking pretty solid in his role with the Lakers. Now you have this trade right here getting three rotational guys for Russell Westbrook, a sixth man, and definitely plays on a decline. And a 2027 first pick that's slightly protected. Rob Palenka, how are you cooking, my man? How are you cooking? Who let Rob Palenka cook? And why is he actually doing a good job right now, man? Like, Y'all letting Rob Palenka cook GMs like the NBA, like this is insane, okay? But other than that, yo, that is it. Is it a gun below? Drop a like, comment down below, sub up. Subscribe me on Twitch, Twitter, and to the next video. And I'm out, man. Peace.